Hello and welcome to the 7 o'clock news from Bahrain International. I'm Shogun Mohammed. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met today at Ghraibiya Palace with His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa. The Royal Highness has highlighted the role of His Majesty the King in reinforcing relations between Bahrain and various brotherly and friendly countries. They noted Bahrain's keenness to make use of advanced countries' experiences in fields that support promoting Bahrain in the commercial and economic areas. They expressed satisfaction with the course of economic development despite international security and economic challenges, which reflects the effectiveness of the government's approach and the economic strategies and programs in the kingdom. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa today met at Ghraibiya Palace with Commander-in-Chief of the Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. His Royal Highness praised his role and efforts in developing the BDF and expressed thanks and appreciation to the members of the BDF for their selfless efforts to safeguard the kingdom and participation in its comprehensive development under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The meeting also reviewed the BDF's development strategy and the work it undertakes with allies and partners to maintain regional security. Deputy of His Majesty the King and Crown Prince, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, met the newly appointed Southern Governor, His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali bin Khalifa Al Khalifa today at Ghraibiya Palace. The Deputy King highlighted the important role played by the Kingdom's governorates in facilitating effective community outreach and developing the kingdom's towns and villages, a key element of the kingdom's strategic objectives led by His Majesty King Hamad. The Deputy King congratulated the newly appointed Southern Governor and wished him success in his mission to support and assist the citizens and families of the Southern Governorate. His Highness Sheikh Khalifa bin Ali expressed his gratitude for the opportunity to meet with His Royal Highness and for His Royal Highness's continued support to the kingdom's governorates. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, issued a circular today stipulating the official holiday for Eid al-Adha of 1438 Hijri. On the occasion of Eid al-Adha, on all of the Kingdom's ministries, directorates and institutions shall take a recess from Thursday, August 31st to Tuesday, September 5th. 
His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa issued Edict 17 for this year. The edict stipulates appointing the following in the Ministry of Work and Social Development. Rashid Mohammed Noor Al Madani, Information Systems Director. Aqil Abd Ali Bohsain, Human Resources Director. Ahmed Jafar Miftah, Vocational Institutes Director. Mustafa Mohammed Al Murbati, Financial Resources Director. Ahmed Jafar Al Haiki, Labor Relations Director. Fawziya Salah Hussain Shihab, Compensation and Unemployment Support Director. Islam Ismail Al Alawi, Training and Manpower Development Director. Aisha Mohammed Ibrahim Al Zayed, Family and Childhood Development Director. Najwa Abdul Latif Janahi, NGO Support Director. Rani Abdul Rahman Kazim Al Bastiki, Community Centers Director. Smahan Yusuf Abdullah Al Saud, Social Rehabilitation Director. Hussain Ali Hassan Al Shami, Employment Director. Ibtihal Ahmed Marhoun Al Tawash, Communication Director. And Huda Mohammed Ali Al Hamoud, Social Welfare, Welfare Director. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with senior royal family members and senior state officials, during which he discussed with them several national issues. He asserted that the government continued to implement development and modernization projects across Bahrain's villages and cities through a comprehensive strategy that aims to provide best living standards for the people. He urged all government ministries and bodies to ensure the highest quality and efficiency in executing developmental projects, confirming his personal follow-up on work progress. The Prime Minister stressed the importance of reinforcing communication between the people to strengthen the social fabric and national unity, noting the necessity of social partnership in supporting the government's efforts in regard to development. He added that regional updates require more efforts to maintain national security and stability. He also commended the people of Bahrain in all fields and their keenness to ensure the continuous prosperity of their homeland. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa met today with Commander-in-Chief of Bahrain Defense Force, Field Marshal Sheikh Khalifa bin Ahmed Al Khalifa. The Prime Minister stressed Bahrain's commitment towards further development to meet the people's needs amid secure and stable conditions. He noted the BDF as a model for national work and devotion, expressing pride in its affiliates who exert tremendous efforts to preserve Bahrain's security, sovereignty and safety. For his part, BDF Commander-in-Chief lauded the wisdom of His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, who made Bahrain a pioneer in many fields and became an example in various developmental fields. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa received a number of brothers and sons of the late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Ali bin Khalifa bin Salman bin Ta'ij Al Khalifa at Qaybiyah Palace today. They extended deepest thanks and gratitude to His Royal Highness for the noble feelings he had expressed while offering condolences to them over the death of the deceased which reflect his keenness to show support to the citizens under various circumstances. 
His Royal Highness the Premier stressed the authentic values and the spirit of fraternity binding the citizens of Bahrain, praying to Allah the Almighty to rest the soul of the deceased in eternal peace. The late His Highness Sheikh Salman bin Ali's brothers and sons extended heartfelt thanks and appreciation to His Royal Highness for standing by them, praying to Allah the Almighty to protect him and guide him on the right path for the interest of Bahrain and its people. His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, received today at Qadaybiya Palace the ambassadors of the Arab countries accredited in the Kingdom of Bahrain with the extended congratulations to His Royal Highness on the advent of Eid al-Adha, praying the Almighty to bestow on him abundant health and happiness. His Royal Highness called for Arab unity to be the principal guiding force for the region, elevating it to higher levels of development in a stable and secure environment, underscoring that such unity is the ideal way to cease foreign interference in the affairs of the region's countries. He went on to affirm that preserving peace and stability in the region is a necessity in light of the various global security and economic challenges. His Royal Highness also affirmed that the wisdom of Arab leaders will strengthen the Arab cooperation system in the face of threats, foremost of which is terrorism. During the meeting, His Royal Highness asserted that Bahrain supports all efforts that aim at raising coordination and consultation levels in order to crystallize common visions on the various issues and crises of the region. He praises supporting stances of Arab countries towards Bahrain, adding that the attempt to south strife and discord in countries is unacceptable to anyone. The first deputy chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports, president of Bahrain Athletics Association and honorary president of Bahrain Sports Federation for Disabilities, His Highness Sheikh Khalid bin Hamad Al Khalifa, approved the awards of His Highness's fifth futsal league for youth centers, people with disabilities and girls, which is held in Khalifa Sports City Stadium until the 14th of September. 
The league is organized by the Ministry of Youth and Sports Affairs in cooperation with the media office of His Highness Sheikh Khalid under the theme Meeting of Generations. The event is one of Sheikh Khalid's initiatives to support the youth in the sporting field. At a press conference held in Khalifa Sports City Stadium's press conference hall, the head of Sheikh Khalid's media office and member of the Supreme Organizing Committee, Omar Abdelaziz Bukamal, announced the monetary awards compared to the previous leagues. During the conference, Bukamal conveyed the greetings of Sheikh Khalid. His Highness praised the efforts of the committee's heads and members. Bukamal expressed thanks and appreciation for the efforts of the Youth and Sports Affairs Minister, Hisham bin Mohammed al Jodil, and the head of youth centers at the ministry, Nawar Abdullah al Mtawa. He also extended thanks to the Ministry of Information Affairs. He concluded by noting the success of the event, evident in the presence of over 50 athletic and political figures, as well as senior state officials. Minister of Electricity and Water Affairs, Dr. Abdul Hussain Ali Mirza, sponsored the inauguration ceremony of the Solar Energy Initiative in Husseiniyas at Bin Shabib Husseiniya in Northern Sihla. Dr. Mirza expressed his appreciation to His Royal Highness the Prime Minister, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, for his interest in using clean energy. He also praised the Jafari Endowments Council initiative to implement such a project that contributes towards achieving the national goals in renewable energy and energy efficiency, as well as activating the uses of solar energy in religious establishments. Dr. Mirza stated that the unit price of electricity produced from solar energy has decreased significantly and become cheaper than the price of the unit produced by the government through stations operated by natural gas. He added that there are strong indications that the price of electricity units of renewable energy will continue to decline by up to an additional 20% in case of finding a competitive and highly efficient market to supply and install solar power systems. For his part, Chairman of the Jafari Endowments, Sheikh Mohsen Al Asfour, affirmed the support of the Endowments for National Initiatives and looking forward to generalize his experiment to about 2,000 real estates to include investment projects such as markets and commercial complexes to be established by the Jafari Endowments. A very good evening. You're watching the business news on Bahrain International with me, Mohammed Youssef. Bahrain All Share Index closed at 1,298.979 points, marking a decrease of 1.88 points below last closing. The decrease was in the investment and industrial sectors, and investors traded mainly in the commercial banks with 66% of total shares. 32 transactions included 1,142,053 shares, worth 222,201 Bahraini dinars. Bahrain's total amount of investment in 2,610 funds until the end of the first quarter of this year reached $7,505,000,000. According to Central Bank of Bahrain, the number of investment funds increased by about 44 funds to $84 million. Figures showed that the institutions acquired more than $5 billion from investment funds, while individuals accounted for a total of $1,960,000,000. Retail banks' investment funds totaled $1,200,000,000 at the end of the first quarter, reaching $1.1 billion of wholesale banks. <laughs> 